Hey everyone, it's Bookable Goal here with part 3 of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link series. So today we're going to continue on the World Championship event. So I did work a little bit off screen to make it a duel level 16, but I'm just going to be completely honest right now. A lot of the duels now are, are more so than in the past are like meta builds, so I can't really go any higher than probably 20. So I'm definitely not going to get to dual state to stage two, but that's okay. Because, I mean, you don't, all you get are just a couple extra rewards, but it would have been nice. But maybe one day I can do it. So I did switch out my deck, well, I switched out my character and my deck to blue eyes. Um, no, don't use the skill. I did off screen pull a second copy of the White Stone of Ancients. So th the card's really important for blue eyes because it can like it special summons the blue eyes at the end of the turn, which is really important for this deck. Okay, let's see if we draw it right now. A uh, protector. Okay, so we're gonna use cards of continents here to to discard legend and draw two cards. Go for blue eyes. Then I'm going to set the Silver's Cry. I'm going to summon Protector with Eyes of Blue. Activate his effect to special summon the White Stone of Legend. Since I think his effects, yeah, its effects non, well, non once per turn. I'm going to use Protector's effect to send Legend to the grave to special summon a Blue Eyes. I might as well show off the animation, why not? It's it's definitely one of my uh it's definitely one of my favorite animations for for one of the summonings of a monster. I really like I don't know which one of my favorite is. I really like the Jinzo one, but yeah. I guess it doesn't matter. And then I get my final copy of Blue Eyes from the deck. Actually, it's kind of bad cuz now Ancient is useless. <laughs> okay. Let's uh synchro summon Azurai's and I'm gonna put him in defense mode so that way he can like last turn so I can get that. Because basically, Azurai's effect is to special summon itself. No, it's to special summon a blue eyes once per turn during your standby phase from the graveyard. So as long as you can keep it out on the field, which is pretty easy to do considering the fact that when it's summoned until your opponent's next turn, it can't be destroyed by card effects. So I can activate Azure Eyes' effect now. Special summon in attack mode. Blue Eyes. Okay, now I can summon Blue Dragon Summoner. And... Uh... I don't want to put Azure Eyes in attack, to be honest. I'm worried he has, like, some... Like, a wall destroy. Ah, oh, I could have killed them then. Dang it, if I would have put him in attack, I would have killed her. Okay, that's that's fine, that's fine. I was just worried that she'd have like a wall disruption or something, and then I'd be screwed. Oh, I win. Okay, that's good. Oh, there's the White Stone of Ancients. So basically, what's this effect? I already explained the first effect, which was to special summon a blue eyes from the deck if it's sent to the grave by the end phase. But the second effect is you can banish it from the grave to add a blue eyes from your grave to your hand. That's one duel done. I'm also trying to think of what I'm going to do after this event. I'm, what I'm probably going to end up doing is... Uh, just doing rant multiplayer battles, and then when, like, special events happen, I'll play those. I think that'll probably be the best thing to do for this series. 20 gems, that's not bad. <laughs> Man, this game used to be so generous with how many gems they would give, and they just, then they just, it just went downhill from there. Now I honestly don't know what pack I want to start opening up because I, 
I could potentially go to the box with the six samurais in it and try to build that because that's probably like the best deck in the game right now. I could go to the deck with the mini box with vampires in it and try to build that deck because that deck's really good. But I don't. I could open up the new box. I don't know. Probably I'll go with the option of the vampires. Uh, no, don't use it. I will, uh, do I want to set ancients, or do I want to, hopefully I draw a card to consonants, because then that'd be really good. Ooh, protector, yes, that's actually good, because then I could, sweet, because now I could special summon ancients. In defense mode, I can activate it to send ancients to the grave, to some blue eyes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we can Synchro Summon. For Azur Eyes. In Defense Mode. And then in the End Phase, I can activate the White Stone of Ancients effect to Special Summon. Ooh, uh, let's go for Regular. Is it just one dragon normal monster? I thought it was specifically blue eyes. Or is it a blue eyes monster? Does it summon? Oh, it's... Oh, it's supposed to summon a blue eyes monster from the deck. I thought it was just blue eyes by dragon. Or is he gonna summon? Oh, he's using this deck. Oh, oof. That's okay, though. Because red eyes slash dragon, I don't think can run over my monsters. Oh, it's just the Gemini. Uh, you can't. <laughs> yeah, I'll attack. You don't worry. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Special summon uh, Blue Eyes from the Grave. Uh, I'll put Azura Eyes in attack mode because I just want to try to deal as much damage as I can. Put the pressure on him. Azura Eyes will attack him. Blue Eyes will attack his face down, Red Eyes Wyvern, and then I'll attack him directly for 3,000. I forgot, if I win this, I didn't actually read it or not. If I win, I make it to dual level 17, maybe. I, I completely forgot. Uh, he's going to summon Red Eyes, I think. Oh, no. No, yeah, it's a summon red eyes, right? Oh, no, it adds it to the hand, right? And he's gonna summon it, yeah, yeah. Then he's gonna go for red eyes with the effect of the... The Blackstone of Legend is honestly pretty good. Because it summons it right from the deck. It doesn't have to... Well, no. Well, I guess at the cost of your normal summon. Why didn't he play anything? Did he just give up? I don't know. I don't want to be too cocky on this. But I'm going to attack him. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> I guess he knew he'd lose. Let's see. Do I go to dual level 17 now? I honestly just mainly play this event for the war for the rewards. Because they're just really good. And by really good, I mean you get gems. And this game is really stingy with giving gems. <laughs> I, uh, an EXP booster. Eh, 50 gems. I can open up a pack at least at the end of the video. Hey, well, what's the... What are the next good rewards? Um, let's see. Um... Oh, 200 gems. Yes. Okay. Definitely gotta try to strive for that. Because 200 gems... That, that's a pretty good reward right there. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if we see a six samurai player right about now, though.
Yami Yugi, okay. So... Okay, I'm going second. That, that's good, because this is an OTK deck. Um... Mm, no, don't use it. Man, Restart used to be, like, overpowered when you could still draw a card. But then they nerfed it to make it so you don't draw a card when you activate it, which really sucked a lot. Oh, well, at least I get two free draws off of this. That, that, that's, like, the number one thing from this. Hopefully I draw Ancients from it. What? What's he, what can he do? Ooh! Treacherous Trap Hole! Mm. Looking good, looking good! This is a really powerful card. This card used to be at 3, and then that just... Everyone hated that. Because, like, it's just broken in this game, because, like... The deck size is so much thinner, so you can guarantee you're going to draw it eventually, like, very quickly. And then on top of that, there's only there's a lot less negation in this game than there would be previously. So it really hurts when you drop down your opponent. What can he do? <laughs> What can he honestly do? Send you to the grave. Uh, that does add my third blue eyes to the hand. Oh, no. Yeah, but that'll get it. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. Why is it, why is it special summoning? Right. Because of this effect. And then is the same play I've been doing for, for the past couple duels. Synchro summon into his eyes. I remember when I tried to get this card, it took me like so long to get it. Because this was the first box when with Synchros when it came out. So I also tried to get Stardust, which I don't know why, but that card in particular, it wasn't just me. It took like a lot of people to like the very end of their box to get a single copy of that card, which was just dumb. What's this card? Curse of Anubis. Okay. Oh. You see, I kind of want to destroy it. I kind of want to destroy it. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm going to destroy it. <laughs> He's dead. Unless he has, like, I don't know, Wing Karibo in his hand. I mean, not Wing Karibo, uh, Spear Karibo. Bingo Machine Go. I can't even activate that. Okay, let's kill him. <laughs> he surrendered. Oh, uh, man. Blue Eyes is fun deck to use. I remember back in, like, probably, like, a year ago, Blue well, Blue Eyes was, like, my favorite deck to run. Especially in, like, real life, because that was, like, the main deck I would run against my friends casually. And that would be pretty fun, because you just, like, use Ancients and stuff to just get Blue Eyes out on the field. This was when we still ran our trash decks, though. When we couldn't really, like, negate too much and stuff like that. Like we can nowadays. I wonder, am I going to get to level up from this? Because if so, that'd be uh, decently nice. I'm just worried about finding a 6 Samurai player. That's it. Lewis and Umbra. Oh, crap. I duel against one of these guys today and won. Uh, so we're not going to level up from this. What? Uh, is this a Fire King deck? Oh, hell no. This is a really good hand. Cards of Consonants and Ancients. That's a good. That's a great combo right there. 
I wonder what box has that. That's, that's what I should go for, honestly. But I think it was in a main box. So it's a pain to try to get. Because, like, back in the day, it used to be there were 200 packs in the main box. And 10 ultra rares. And 80 packs in a mini box. And 2 ultra rares. But then, like, what would happen was... People would only really buy mini boxes because that had that's what the really powerful decks were. That's the box where they were in, and you could keep resetting, and it'd be much cheaper to build a real deck. So what they did was they increased the amount of mini boxes in a pack, but to a hundred, and decreased the amount in a main box to hundred and eighty. Sub terrors. Well, what the hell do sub terrors do? They don't have their main card in the game, which is Guru. Which probably he probably set a final battle or something. I probably don't want to attack into his uh, monsters, though. That, that'd probably be pretty bad. I know they have flip effects. Does he have sub terror final battle? I don't know if I'm going to win against this guy, to be honest. What does this guard do? Oh, that's actually... Uh, that's not the worst play in the world, to be honest. Draw a card... And I'm gonna guess destroy a monster. Banish, wow. That's annoying. Okay. Yikes. Now I can put these into attack mode and kind of screw me over. Ah, uh, setting a monster in this case is really deadly. <sighs> Man, now I'm gonna have to add a uh, blue eyes. Oh, you can. I, I'm gonna still add it to thin out my deck. I really need to draw like protector with eyes of blue or something. White stone of ancients will help me now. I can't. Oh, I already had all of them. Dang it. Mausoleum. Yes. Exactly what I need. No, 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 I really didn't need that card right now. I think, don't, what did, you get an extra normal summon. During your main phase, you can normal summon one light tuner monster in addition to your normal, okay. That'll count for that, and I contribute summon blue eyes, I guess. Even though that play's not remotely good at all. Eh, I got nothing to lose at this rate. Oh, yeah, they're mandatory effects, but they can't even activate. Because I have none left in the deck. <laughs> Let's try to kill this one. Oh, you're joking me right now. Paleozoic Canadia. Or Candia? Is it Can Candia or Canadia? Canadia. That car sucks. Oh, frick. Oh, you're joking me right now. Yeah, th this is, this is, yeah. I lose. I'm not gonna surrender, but. I mean that in all fairness it's not the worst draw in the world hold on let me activate no okay it's I think this was yeah I can activate ancients effect at least add it to my hand that's not the worst thing in the world what does he have okay I think Mausoleum has some sort of effect where you can, like, send a monster to the grave. 
uh, hand or deck to the grave, and then you can, like, get some attack off of it, but really that doesn't matter. Honestly, Mausoleum of White isn't even that good of a field spell. Like, I mean, I can understand it is good in Blue Eyes, I guess, because you, you get that extra normal summon. Which this deck really needs, the extra normal summon. So it's not completely terrible. And it does have a Foolish Burial effect. Except the Foolish Burial effect it has is kind of useless. Like, it, this deck doesn't need a Foolish Burial. Basically. Oh, you're joking me. It's that card again. I mean, I'll just attack. I mean, both of them are that, right? So no matter what I do, it's just going to get banished. You know what, I may try to build sub-terrors. I don't think they have anything too crazy in the deck. I think it's just the... I think it's just the, um, the final battle is the only thing. If I can... Because most of their stuff is ra are rare cards. Oh, I'm dead, yeah. Yeah, that, that wasn't that good, to be completely honest. Okay. Well, I do have some gems at the very least, so I can open up some packs, so... I guess that's not the worst thing in the world. Yes, 100 gold. Whatever shall I do with 100 whole gold? <laughs> okay, can I uh, claim anything in the... Sh Let's see, any more gems in here? Yep, there's some more gems. Okay, let's try to see. Because I think I already have one. Uh, is this the one with sub terrors in it? If it is, I'll just open up this box. Because I... There might be an Ultraverse sub terror. Is there? I don't know. Um, Let's see. Once this loads Black Rose... Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's good. Oh, wait, it spells. Oh, uh, no, no, and no. Okay, that's good. There are no... There's only one super rare, which is Final Bow, and I already have one copy of that. Here, let me go to cards you own. Oh, there is... Oh, it's a super rare. And it's still worth it, I think, though, to try to build them. Uh, I have some sub terrors. Uh, do I have like the main one? No. Oh, is that even the main one? I don't think. I think it's like sub. Oh, oh sub terror nemesis. Where I got two of them. Okay, let's just open up some packs. I shouldn't keep stalling. Uh, I guess I'm hoping for sub terror cards, or maybe like a black rose dragon, because you know what, that'd be pretty good as well. Um, nope. Uh, probably not a good pack. Oh, it could be. Could be. That's a monster. Is it a glossy? Oh, it's a glossy. What is it? Oh, sweet. A sub-terror. Cool. No. 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 And... Last, but certainly not least, us up to here. Okay, not the worst five packs in the world, because I actually got something I kind of needed. And in Glossy, too. So, that'll be it for this video. So, if you guys enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really does help out a ton. It'll take a second. And hopefully, see. And hopefully, I'll be here to see you guys next time.